Today is Wednesday, April 22nd, and you're watching an SCW News Digest. One man is dead today as police investigate Stockton's 14th homicide of 2020. The fatal shooting happened last night under State Route 4 right along Aurora Street. When police arrived to the scene, they found a 23-year-old man suffering from gunshot wounds. Medics transported that man to a local hospital where he died from his injuries. Homicide detectives have now taken over the investigation. Police were unable to release any suspect information or a motive. Those with information are asked to call Crime Stoppers or the police department. Moving on now to news out of Stockton Unified where Dr. John Dacey is out as superintendent. In a 4-3 decision last night, Stockton Unified trustees voted to accept a resignation agreement between Dr. Dacey and the district. The resignation will be effective June 15th. The controversial decision was made even after a petition to keep Dr. Dacey gathered more than 1,350 signatures. The decision also criticized by local political leaders and activists like Mayor Michael Tubbs. During the meeting, which was held via telephone conference call, some public comments were read. We have now learned that the board received over 100 public comments, many of which were left unread. We did reach out to Dr. Dacey for comments, and he has not responded as of the taping of this show. Coming up after the break, coronavirus coverage, the latest numbers, and how some in Stockton are trying to help senior citizens during this time. We'll be right back. Welcome back. The Department of Public Health has released their new number of cases of the coronavirus. San Joaquin County now has 460 cases and 20 deaths, an increase of 11 from this time yesterday, and four new reported cases overnight. Meanwhile, during this pandemic, one statewide insurance company with offices in Stockton is trying to help senior citizens. SPHIS Insurance Services, in conjunction with the Omni Medical Group, is sending face masks, hand sanitizers, and pamphlets of information with resources to seniors in the mail. Well, now coordinators of the effort are attempting to step it up by delivering flowers to senior citizens. They are now requesting the public's help in finding areas where there is a high volume of seniors to drop off the flowers to. The flowers can also be dropped off outside of residences. Thank you for watching this SCW News Digest. I'll see you back here tomorrow with more news from Stockton.